Defining ICT Literacy ICT literacy is the ability to use digital technology, communication tools, and or networks to define an information need, access, manage, integrate, and evaluate information, create new information or knowledge, and be able to communicate this information to others. Technology is used for an ever-increasing range of purposes to accomplish many different kinds of tasks. What follows reflects that range as well as defines the five critical components of ICT literacy. The five components represent a continuum of skills and knowledge and are presented in a sequence suggesting increasing cognitive complexity. Access. Knowing about and knowing how to collect and or retrieve information. Integrate. Interpreting and representing information. It involves processing, summarizing, comparing, and contrasting. Manage. Applying an existing organizational or classification scheme. Evaluate. Making judgments about the quality, relevance, usefulness, and efficiency of information. Create. Generating information by adapting, applying, designing, inventing, or authoring information and communicating that information to others. Here is a scenario in which the five components are used. Following a stroke, your mother has been diagnosed with an atrial septal defect, or a hole in one section of her heart. While not an emergency, her doctor has recommended open heart surgery to repair the hole and reduce the risk of additional strokes. You would like to find several reliable sources on the web that recommend treatment options for this condition. Based on this scenario, students could be presented with a series of tasks organized around the five components as summarized in the chart. Access, using a search engine, locate sites that have articles about holes in the heart or atrial septal defects. Evaluate, evaluate the sites and identify three that would expect to provide reliable medical information. Manage, identify the treatment information in each article. Integrate, compare and contrast the treatment options suggested in the articles. Create, develop a Word document with treatment lists citing sources to share with your physician. ICT literacy can best be achieved through experiences that integrate cognitive and technical learning. Single-focused, standalone curricula, whether academic or technical, will limit the learner's attainment of ICT literacy. ICT literacy skills need to be integrated appropriately into curricula addressing cognitive skills as well as those addressing IT and technical skills in order to ensure improved ICT literacy. The International ICT Literacy Panel discussed these issues and reached consensus that as technology approaches ubiquity, an increasing importance must now be placed on educating and training citizenry in the ICT skills necessary to function effectively in a global economy increasingly dependent on ICT. The panel's overarching belief is that the digital divide should no longer be defined only in terms of limited access to hardware, software, and networks, but rather one that is also driven by limited literacy levels and a lack of cognitive skills needed to make effective use of these technologies. Technology skills alone, without corresponding cognitive skills and general literacy, will not decrease the gaps defined by a digital divide. As technology becomes more prevalent in our everyday lives, cognitive skills become increasingly critical. Consider a student or employee who is asked to prepare an electronic presentation based on information from the web. That person can access vast quantities of information without a lot of understanding. Search engines make accessing information almost trivial, but using the search engines well requires an increased skill level. Evaluating and synthesizing information found in a variety of sources requires even more advanced skills representing a literacy that is far beyond what is needed in a more constrained environment, such as with textbooks where all the information is contained within one source. In effect, because technology makes the simple task easier, it places a greater burden on higher level skills. 
If ICT literacy is to have a transformative effect on people's lives, it must be understood as a broad set of tools that can be integrated across a range of contexts. Teaching technology applications as isolated competencies independent of traditional disciplines does not provide this kind of understanding. Tasks undertaken at school, at work, and in everyday life increasingly require an understanding and application of this integration of cognitive, literacy, and technical skills. As technology evolves, becoming simpler and more transparent, one might argue that the need to develop ICT literacy would lessen. The panel would argue that, in fact, the opposite is true. Simpler interfaces may broaden access to technology, but they cannot make people ICT literate. In order to take full advantage of the opportunities such technology presents, individuals still need critical cognitive and technical skills. This creates a difficult challenge for investing in training and education. While digital technology, with its immense capacity to present, access, and manage information, is seductive, there must be a balance between the need for cognitive skills, literacy, and knowledge, and what the technology can achieve by itself. Further, these new education tools will be that much more difficult to use by those who possess low or mediocre literacy levels. Read more of this report titled Digital Transformation, a Framework for ICT Literacy, presented by ETS, Educational Testing Services.